Okay guys, uh, this is Philip Dwyer, um, Min Balana. Um, I'm just trying to get to talk to as many people as possible and especially local candidates who are running uh, and who are standing up against the madness, the, the independents, the nationalists or whatever. So I've just met this man here, Keith Howley, and he's going to tell us uh, why he's here and why he's running and decided to run uh, for the local council here on the 7th of June. Keith, how are you getting on? How are you getting on? Uh, basically I'm here because basically what Joe said there, basically that this is going to be turning into a, a hub and can't be having this, you know, it's, it's not on. You know, um, I'm my main main reason why I'm running is I've noticed for the last 12 to 16 years, no one has mentioned disabilities in Balna. Mm -hmm. Dis disability has been left behind since we're not in 1970, we're in 2024. And yet, uh, Keith, there seems to be no end of f funding and finance for something like this no, there's, to there's, bring in strangers into this and give them the best of everything. No, and there, to get there, there, there's, there's no issue there because the government are pumping in money to them. You know, the pump, and then people that are buying it, they don't care. They're getting the money of the government. They don't give two flying, I won't say, but they don't care. And when the community are looking for extra resources for for um, funding for disabilities, people with disabilities, you're told probably that there's no money. Um, well, I, I went around and I looked for uh, funding to fix the footpaths for the wheelchair users. No funding. I also went around to look for a sensory park. No funding. Um, I also went around to... to uh, there's only one respite house in Balanay. There's over 300 kids on the waiting list. Families are facing burnout. Still, no funding. So where, what are you supposed to do? Disabilities. Best by care for children, children with autism. and Children with autism and families facing burnout. Mm -hmm. Kids to go in and just give the mother and father a break at night. Mm -hmm. No money. But yet there's money for this. Okay. Yeah. And have you been involved in politics before, Keith? Never, 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 never. So, I just said because I've been watching the local and no one's ever mentioned disabilities. Mm -hmm. The last 12 to 16 years, disabilities forgot about. And it needs to be. So something in you, Keith, has, said, has told you, you said... I'm not taking this anymore. I'm, not, I'm going to make a stand. Is it? Just making a stand. Just see how I get on. Make a stand. If I don't get in five years' time, I'll go again in five years' time. Mm -hmm. Keep going until I get in. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to make a change. Mm -hmm. that's, and, that's, uh, and you've kind of you're aware of what's been happening in the country for the last five I years, know, and, I, I just, and, and how much corruption is going on. Well, if you look at it, there's millions and millions been pumped into disabilities, but the people that are on the streets are not getting it. Mm -hmm. There's the high, the high, the high end people, the high end companies are getting it, yeah. but they're not pushing it down. Oh, mismanagement and, mismanagement uh, and well, whatever else you want to Administration call it. and Administration stuff. Administration like is corrupt to the core, as Joe said there. He's trying to get all the corruption out. Yeah. You know, Joe's through that side. I'm trying to do my side, get disabilities right in this town. I think I think it's probably nearly the first time in the history of the state that we're actually going to get so many candidates that are really genuinely standing up for the country, not worrying about party politics so much, not worrying about uh, getting on a gravy train. They're genuinely uh, concerned about the country, and I think that's going to be a first for this election now, and and for hopefully the general election coming through that uh, so many people are sick and tired of it. Keith. Well, there's so many people going in there, going in as independents or non-party candidates, because they're fed up. They're, they're fed up with the government. They're fed up with all the parties that are in there now. Because yeah. all they're doing is they're lying to you. Simple as. Yeah. There's no point saying they're not lying to you. They're lying to you. Mm -hmm. As there was a day there, uh, was it uh, Councillor Mark Duffy was here. Mm -hmm. And people got ran from this, from here, because BBC came down. BBC came down. Lads got ran. So they did from here. And Mark Duffy came down. It's not my fault, he said. It's, uh, it's the government's fault. Oh, yeah. Why isn't he doing something about it? And what party is he? He's, uh, he, he was independent. He's an independent, but I think he's, he's with Fine Gael. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's so these are the people I think that, you know, communities like this have to watch out for. And I keep saying, I keep stressing, uh, established politicians who are with established parties, um, people who are calling other people outsiders or far right or racist, well, I, well, I, well, people I, like that. I, I'm, I'm being called an outsider because I'm not officially from Balna. Yeah. And I've seen there, my first post ever put up, what's this man doing for Balna? Mm -hmm. If I'm given the chance to fight for Balna, I'll fight. For, as I say, their disability. Yes. Disability is my number one. I'll fight for all the disabilities. Okay. Just give me the chance. That's all I ask. Okay, that's Keith Towley, lads. Uh, you're running what's your district again, Keith? Balna. He's running in Balna as well. So uh, vote for Keith Towley, folks. Well done, Keith. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank well done.